Hey tennis fans, I'm Grace Carter. Welcome to your Tennis Now News Update. It was Australia Day down under and American women celebrated with fireworks. World number one Serena Williams, older sister Venus Williams and 19 year old Madison Keys all advanced to the Australian Open quarterfinals. It's the first time three Americans have made it to the last eight in Melbourne since 2002 when it was Venus, Jennifer Capriotti and Monica Seles. An inspired Venus turned back time, powering past number six seed Aggie Radvanska, showing plenty of spring in her 34-year-old legs. Venus closed with conviction, winning six games in a row to earn a Grand Slam quarterfinal berth for the first time since 2010. The quarterfinal is going to be a clash of generations. Madison Keys is the youngest woman still standing. Venus, of course, is the oldest. They are two of the biggest servers in the game, and despite their 15-year age gap, they have something in common. Madison says she always watched Venus and Serena play, and that's what inspired her to pick up a racket. Uh, Venus is definitely an aggressive player, can get on the offense, has a great serve. 35th ranked Keys will likely have to beat both of her tennis heroes if she wants to reach her first Grand Slam final. Venus says she likes what she sees in Keys. We've played only once, so we haven't had even a chance to play against each other. And I know she's in really good form and just a wonderful, nice girl and an unbelievable competitor. So it's going to be a really good competition in the next round. As for Serena, she lost the first set for the second straight match, but then slammed 17 aces in a quality comeback against Garbine Muguruza, who shocked Serena in the French Open second round last spring. Up next for Serena is Dominika Sibokova. Serena has won all four of their previous matches, but she says she is not overlooking the 5'3 Slovak. She's just such a power, compact, great player. So um, I just have to stay focused and, and, and not underestimate her and realize that this she, she actually almost beat me before. So. Novak Djokovic was in tune throughout opening week. The top seed reached his 23rd consecutive Grand Slam quarterfinal without dropping a set. When the world number one wasn't rolling on Rod Laver Arena, he was rocking Melbourne Park. Check out Nole jamming with country star Keith Irvin. All right, I'm so glad you could join me. Are we going to rock out or are we going to chill out? Keith, I'm going to rock, rock out. Rock out? Okay, here we go. One, two, one, two, three, four. Well, Novak didn't exactly make the strings sing, but his enthusiasm for the stage, off the charts. It seems like he was there, and obviously he rules the stage. I was just <laughs> trying to, to follow his, uh, his beat. Well, I tried my best. Um, good thing for me, there was only 20 seconds. Right? <laughs> the men's quarterfinals should give us some entertaining reunions. Defending champion Stan Wawrinka faces Kei Nishikori in a rematch of their four-hour, 15-minute U.S. Open epic last September. Kay won that battle, but Stan has won two of their three matches. 19-year-old Nick Kyrgios is going to try to ride the wave of raucous home support against Andy Murray in the quarterfinals. The Aussie teenager, who upset Nadal at Wimbledon last summer, stirred fans into a frenzy with his week one comeback. Andy Murray's going to try to play the role of party pooper, but he knows that pressing the mute button on the explosive teenager and the loud crowd is not going to be easy. Obviously, he's uh, he's probably going to have most of the crowd um, behind him, um, and rightfully so. He's uh, he's had a fantastic tournament um, for someone his age. Uh. The three-time finalist got a glimpse of what's in store as Aussie fans watching Murray's win over Grigor Dimitrov inside Rod Laver Arena erupted in cheers when Kyrgios's win flashed across the scoreboard. Murray defeated Mitrov who left it all on the court, including parts of his racket. And he's won the... And he's won the draft, demolishing his racket. <laughs> Rafa Nadal reached his eighth straight Australian Open quarterfinal. A funny moment in his match when a ball boy made the world number one crack up with his spot-on impression of Rafa. Check out Rafa's reaction when the wind knocks over his water bottle. 
and the ball boy comes to the rescue, very carefully reenacting Rafa's precision in placing the bottle in just the right spot. As we all know, Rafa is big on rituals. Uh, seriously, he's not bothering me, no, he's just uh, kind of very stupid things that you, you do uh, after uh, a lot of years competing. The third seeded Spaniard hopes to keep another habit going as well. Rafa has won 17 consecutive matches against his quarterfinal opponent, Tomas Burdich. The number seven seed hasn't beaten Nadal in more than eight years, which may explain why Burdich isn't really buying the speculation that Nadal is vulnerable. It's Rafa by himself and uh, he's done it in the past already, so he knows how to deal with the situations like this. and. Uh, not much change for me, you know, I just... Well, our congratulations go out to Maria Kirilenko, who enjoyed the best weekend of her life, getting married on Saturday, just a day before celebrating her 28th birthday. The former world number one spread the joy on social media, writing, so it's official, now you can congratulate me. It's the happiest day of my life. Well, while she's keeping details quiet for now, the bride did look radiant in white. Maria Sharapova, Kirilenko's former doubles partner, was asked if she could tell a little bit of the scoop about her friend's wedding. But Maria says, what happens in Russia stays in Russia. Ready for a glimpse of the world's most exclusive and expensive rackets? Combining tradition and technology, Lacoste will release its new limited edition LT12 racket this spring. The hybrid racket is 70% wood, 30% graphite, and some bite. The LT12 bears the brand's trademark crocodile stenciled on the strings. Here's a sneak peek for you. Each racket is handmade by French craftsmen. 650 numbered copies will be sold in the cost boutiques all over the world starting in April but you might want to start saving up for it now. It's going to retail for 550 euros. That's about 617 bucks. That's all for today's Tennis Now News update. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get the latest tennis news. We'll see you next time here on Tennis Now.